These are the masters of speed. This is Formula One. Hello there, welcome back to another set of video. We're at the Hungaro Ring, Hungary, driving as Kimi Antonelli in the Prima. Should we go and do these three laps and then uh, see the setup at the end? Should we? Let's go. So you should know the drill by now. Five red lights. And let's get going. Not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. Uh, yeah, so if you're new, do all that good stuff. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new, welcome back. Uh, so the drill, what, what, what do we do? Do three laps, show you how the car behaves, how the setup handles. Um, it's not about it's not about the result. Couldn't give a monkeys about the result. It's just how the car behaves. Uh, I run zero assists. The AI is up against 105. Um, I, I could change it to 110. There's no dramas there. But the reason why it's so high is because I like to test the setup setups against the AI. The AI really seemed to take off through sector two, which is where we're at now, or coming to the end of it. So you just need to be mindful of that. But yeah. Car wants to lock up every chance it can. Well, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I've uh, really enjoyed running these F2 setups. Be careful at turn one. Um, I've tried various different setup configurations and if you floor it out of turn one the car does have a tendency to snap I think it's just the nature of of these F2 cars it's like I said I tried various different wings I stayed away from running 50-50 which is a standard it's because I found that they generated a lot of um, understeer. A lot more understeer than you need. I'll talk more about that in the set apart. But yeah. Time flies around Hungary. It really, really does. We're almost at the end of lap two. It's only a short lap. Average of um, about 130 in these cars. And in F1 cars, it's average about 117, 119. It's quite a slow lap for me. I was doing 27s. I was doing 27.3s in, in practice earlier. As I said before, I enjoy doing these setups and I hope they help. Obviously, as always, the setup is at the end. Let me know what you think of it because I would uh, love to hear from you. Is any good? Like I said, all these setups are done by me. They're done from scratch. It's how I feel that a car should behave. Right on the limit. Like I said, we're nearly at the end. The setup is next. 
see if we can improve this lap time. But happy racing! So, the hungry setup then, and this is what I've done. Uh, I've gone with 48 on the front wing and 45 on the rear wing. Uh, it's a uh, hungry, it's a high downforce circuit. Um, you can, I think, I believe the AI are running 50 50 that I'm up against, uh, but they're still obviously very, very quick because it's the AI. Um, but you can absolutely get away with running 48. Uh, 45 no dramas at all I mean if you need more add more um, there is no right and wrong way to run uh, Hungary because obviously it is a high downforce circuit remember though that whilst you you know when you do um, progressively longer races tire wear is extremely difficult to manage around Hungary they overheat and when you get into a pattern of constantly overheating the tires and unable to cool them down uh, tire wear becomes extremely extremely high but for the sake of this, I've gone with 48, 45. If you need more downforce, add more downforce. If you need less, take it away. On the transmission, and I've gone with 35% on, 75% off. Seems to work. Um, you know, I've tried various different, I've tried 20% uh, on, 80 off, uh, set 30, 70, and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, even 20, 80, I found the front of the car was a little bit acted a little bit weird so i settled on 35 percent on 75 percent off and yeah there's no dramas with it at all but again in order to make this setup your own change it and if you change it and it doesn't feel right just revert back to the original setup and go the opposite way there is no right there is no wrong on the suspension geometry uh it's left 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 Onto the suspension then, and I've gone with 37 on the front suspension. It's just, there is a little bit of understeer, uh, especially at turn two. I want to say it's turn two, um, and turn three, and then obviously turn four as you go up the hill. Uh, there, there, there is a bit of understeer, uh, but I think that's just the circuit. Uh, so I've got on with 37 on the front to try and just dial out that little bit of understeer that you have. I've gone with uh, five on the rear, suspension just to stiffen it up uh, uh, make it a little bit more softer um but obviously if you want to run more run more there is no right there is no wrong uh on the roll bars there and i've gone equal um no messing about i've just gone equal roll bars um it's hungry there is a lot of twists there's a lot of turns so it's just better to keep the roll bars as stiff as possible i mean you, you can get away with running 21 19 um you know, uh, but for, like I said, for the sake of this setup, I've kept it at just 21, 21. And I've gone with 20 on the right height. And I've gone with 53 on the rear. Uh, the reason why I, I did try running a lot, I did try running 18.52, but that um, chicane that shouldn't be sausage curbs anymore, that has been sausage curbs for the last six years, I think, five years, definitely. Yeah, they're, they're no longer sausage curves. They're actually flat, but obviously Codemasters have left them in to stop people from abusing uh, track limits. But you need to be careful of that one. Um, plus the inner curb at turn five as you go around the corner. Uh, if you touch that, you die. Um, there are a few curbs that you can actually skate on as well. So just be mindful of that. Just stay away from them. But 20, uh, 53 on the ride outs and it just works really well um but again if you need more add more if you need less and you can get away with it take it away all right the brakes gone with the magic 99 percent brake pressure and 57 percent front brake bias i do change it i do change the brake bias during the race um there are one or two heavy braking zones uh, turn one uh turn two and then the rest are, are light brake zones so i do change this back and forth um but yeah, this only applies to ABS off users. ABS on users, run wherever you like. All of the tyres and shock. I've gone with max pressures. You're surprised at that, ain't you? But yeah, um, this has been Hungry. Do all that good stuff. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace.